So this past Sunday, we talked about the importance of remembering that our primary purpose is to make disciples. Or if you're not necessarily a Christian, the best thing that we can do is to help other people become better people and to take advantage of every opportunity to do that. But how do we notice these opportunities when they arise? If you're like me, there are moments when you come back from some event or after you've interacted with uh, an employee or a cashier or something like that, and after you leave that place, that's when you're like, oh man, I realize now that this person told me something that they were going through and I didn't really know how to respond or I didn't notice it in the moment. And there are so many opportunities that, uh, that we miss at times. And some of that, I think, has to do with the fact that I'm not paying attention to the right kinds of things as I'm connecting with people. Right? We know, or at least we should know, the importance of actually listening to the other person, of valuing them as a person, and maybe even interacting with them in little ways and getting to know and notice little things about them. So if you have a favorite coffee shop and you go to that favorite coffee shop all the time, if your barista knows and understands what coffee you normally get and then they are able to tell you at the beginning uh, or remind you that that's the coffee that you normally get or connect to you in that way, you're like, wow, I really feel noticed and I feel like this person values me. The same is true in the other direction. If you can remember or maybe connect with them about who their family is or some of the things that they're going through or what grade their kids are in school, or if you could remember that they even had families, that would go a long way for them to feel noticed. And it would also help us to pay attention to people as people. Now changing what we notice or what we pay attention to isn't actually all that easy. And it definitely isn't as easy as saying, I should be paying attention to this as you go into somebody. Because then when you're going into your coffee shop, let's say, the thing that's running through your head is, I should be paying attention to this person. I should be paying attention to this person. What should I be paying attention to? How am I going to ask them questions? What is this going to look like? Am I going to feel awkward? Is this going to be awkward? And when you approach it that way, it is going to be awkward. You're going to feel awkward. The other person is going to feel awkward because it doesn't feel uh, legitimate or authentic. So then how do we actually change what we pay attention to? Well, Timothy Galloway in his book, The Inner Game of Work, says that one of the basic premises is that we just need to pay attention to what we're paying attention to first. He says, a basic premise of the inner game is before you go about trying to change something, increase your awareness of the way it is. So before you start to try to change what you pay attention to as you're interacting with people, whether that be an employee or an employer or somebody on the phone that's a telemarketer or whatever it is, whenever before you start to try to change the way that you interact with them, pay attention to the things you actually notice. So when you walk into your coffee shop, what are the things that you notice? Is the first thing that you notice the menu board or if they've changed something or if they've moved the seating around or is the first thing you notice how full or how empty it is or how many people are in that particular space or which baristas are on duty or the noise or the sound, I mean, whatever it is, just pay attention to what you actually notice and pay attention to. Because once you become aware of what it is you are actually paying attention to, then maybe you can start to shift your focus from that thing to some other thing. And so maybe you want to increase your ability to see the opportunities to make and help other people live a better life. Well, the first step to that is to actually pay any attention to what you notice now before you start to try to change things. You can't shift your focus just by trying really, really hard because you don't even know what you're focusing on now. So I'd encourage you over this next week, let's say, or even just take one day and to consciously record, even write it down maybe, but just think about what am I actually paying attention to now? Am I listening to the radio? Am I paying attention to my phone? Am I attentive to a conversation that I had with somebody else before and now I'm replaying in my mind? Am I, what are you actually being attentive to? Then you can start to think about what are some of the critical things that I might need to pay attention to to be in this particular moment with this particular person.
As usual, if this has been helpful for you, I'd encourage you to like the video, to comment on some of the ways in which you help yourself focus to the person that is there with you at any particular moment.